When describing graphs, charts, and tables in an essay, there are certain vocabulary words that are useful. These can be used in academic essays as well as tests such as IELTS or TOEFL. Welcome to Writing Better, writing better sentences, paragraphs, and essays. If you want to describe information that is going up, you could use some of these words. Increase, rise, go up, grow, climb, and peak. If you want to describe things that are going down, you can use these words. Decrease, fall, go down, drop, decline, bottom out. When describing information that is staying the same, we can use words such as stabilize or remain constant. To describe this bar chart, we could write a sentence like this. Prices increased sharply from $25 in May to $90 in July. Let's look at a few more example sentences. Instead of saying increased, we can use the word rise. However, most information in the chart is something that has already finished. It's in the past. So we will need to use the past tense of these verbs. So for example, prices rose sharply from $25 in May to $90 in July. Or we could say prices went up sharply from $25 in May to $90 in July. Or prices grew sharply. Or prices climbed sharply. The word peak is used to describe something that is at the top of a graph or a chart. For example, in this line graph, you can see that there is a point where the line goes up and then starts going back down. This re resembles the peak of a mountain, which is the highest point of a mountain. In this case, we can write a sentence like this. Prices peaked at $70 at the beginning of June. We can do the same for our words describing information that is going down. Prices decreased gradually from $60 in April to $30 in June. Or we could say prices fell gradually or prices went down gradually. Or we could say Prices dropped gradually. Prices declined gradually. Again, the words bottom out are used to describe when information shows the numbers go down the most. This is the lowest point of the graph. Our sentence might be something like this. Prices bottomed out at $45 between April and June. Here are some example sentences for when information stays the same. Prices stayed the same for May through June. Prices stabilized from May through June. Or prices remained constant from May through June. We also often use prepositions and other expressions to focus on a particular point before we talk about the changes in the information. For example, sales stood at $2 million in January, then in March they rose slightly to $2.5 million. Here's another example. Profits were $35,000 in 2010, then continued up to $40,000 in 2011. We can also use words such as approximately, around, about, roughly, or more or less, nearly, or almost to describe information as well. All of these words can be used to help describe information in a graph or a chart. There are some sentence patterns that can be useful in describing graphs and charts. The first pattern is to use a sentence that has a subject and a verb or a subject plus a verb and an adverb. 
their profit increased last year. In this sentence, profit increased is the subject and verb. To write the second style of this pattern would look like this. Their profit increased dramatically last year. Here we've added the adverb dramatically to show more clearly how the numbers increased. This is the subject verb adverb pattern. There is a second sentence pattern that can also be used. There was a, and then we include a noun, in something. Our sentence above would change to this. There was an increase in their profit last year. The verb increased is changed to a noun, an increase. Then we add the word in, followed by the rest of the sentence, their profit last year. We can do the same thing with the subject verb adverb pattern as well. However, this time we will change the adverb to an adjective. There was a dramatic increase in their profit last year. The adverb dramatically has changed to the adjective dramatic, then followed by the word in and the rest of the sentence. These two sentence patterns are very useful in describing graphs and charts. Here is an example sentence to describe this bar chart. Prices increased from April to May, after which they stabilized through June and then rose sharply again in July. Another common phrase that is used is from something to something. Profits fell sharply from $35,000 to $10,000 last year. Again, we can use our second sentence pattern to write the same information. There was a sharp fall in profits from $35,000 to $10,000 last year. When we want to describe the end point of some information, we will use the preposition to. The number of subscribers dropped slightly to 1,000 people. Or we could write, there was a slight drop in the number of subscribers to 1,000 people. Another common phrase is to use the words between something and something. We use this to describe the movement along a scale. For example, the market share fluctuated between 20 and 35 percent in the second quarter. Finally, when writing about a graph or chart, you might use this opening sentence. The graph shows the sales of products made by company A. For your final or conclusion sentence, you might use something like this. From the information given, it can be concluded, or inferred, or assumed that. Or you could write, the information given in the graph implies, or suggests, or hints that. I hope you found this video helpful in learning some vocabulary that you can use to describe graphs, charts, and tables. If you need help writing essays, you can watch more of my videos or you might want to check out the workbooks that I have available. The link is in the description below. Happy writing!